these terrorists who are fully bandits from Niger, from Mali, from all this thing, they will come and take over the villa. They will go to government houses and take over. Mark my word, just like what happened in Afghanistan, we happened here if Mr. President doesn't rise up. What can Mr. President say seven years running that PDP did? PDP left 190 or thereabout uh, Naira per dollar. How much was petrol sold? How much was the economy? How many industries did we have? How many... Uh, this is, we only heard about Boko Haram in the Northeast. Today it is everywhere. It is in Benue. Every day they are killing in Benue. They are killing in the North Central. Several states in the North Central. Nobody is going to farm. Even me, I cannot go to farm. Even when I was attacked, I could not be given the privilege of having justice. I was told that uh, security men arrested 13 Fulani and uh, one Juku man and one Tiv man. And today they have freed those uh, Fulani men. The people they are prosecuting is uh, the Tiv man and the Juku man, who is a fisherman. And the, 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 the Tiv boy is my own cousin. Where I went, he was with me. When I was being shot at, he could have been killed too. And so this is the level of injustice that is happening. You talk about justice, you talk about uh, corruption. This government does not have right to be talking about corruption. Corruption is called APC government today as it is. They have no moral right. In fact, I want to call on Mr. President. If he is a man of integrity, as he was known in 2015, he should free uh, Joel Nyame. He should free Governor Darie. He should free all those people that they are prosecuting for. They have no business in saying they are uh, 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 prosecuting those who, who are corrupt. Because this government is more corrupt. All this money that is, they are just stealing in broad daylight and are making things very difficult for people. Why should they be talking about uh, 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 corruption again? The young man is doing his best, but, uh, who is in the FCC, but he's being frustrated. Now he cannot prosecute or arrest anyone except he gets uh, um, uh, clearance from the presidency. I am aware of this. If you check all these people who are in government, look at uh, the current national chairman of uh, uh, APC. The, 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 the senator was being prosecuted for billions of naira, but today he has been freed and somebody carelessly from the presidency said that the man's sins has been forgiven. The former chairman of APC said that once you get into um, 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 uh, APC, your sins are forgiven. If every day EFCC are arresting people from my state because I have refused to join them. If I have joined them, they will say that my sins are forgiven. Anyway, I have not committed any sin anyway. And I'm ready. When EFCC messed up with me and took me to uh, uh, arrest some of my people, frozen my account, I went to court, federal high court. And the Federal High Court awarded to me 100 million naira, which they have refused to pay, and have gone on appeal. And this is the kind of thing that is going on. So this government doesn't have any right. In fact, I will well, suggest that Governor, free everybody Governor Tom, who you are accusing of corruption. Governor then if you Tom, want to call a fight for corruption, Governor call everybody, Tom, call all the stakeholders to come, Governor, and we'll solve this thing. 